Hey babes, so I'm going to get right into this look before I bore you to death. I am taking my Kat Von D primer and applying that all over my lids. Then I'm going in with the color Innocent from the Tarte Amazonian palette. And I am using my... This is a carroty brush. I think it was about four bucks. It is the E31 brush, and I'm applying that as my translucent shade. Then I'm going to go in with the color Mod, and this is more of a pink cranberry color. And I'm applying that where I applied that tra translucent. Ugh. I say I said translucent I meant transition I always do that um, but I'm going to kind of wing it out because I'm going to kind of want to wing cut crease then I'm going in with the color drama and I'm applying that same way I applied the other two shades only this one's going to be a bit more intense And then I'm just going to use this brush to kind of blend it out a little bit more. Now I'm going in with the color Smoked and this is a brown shade and this is where we are going to cut our crease. I'm going to apply this slowly building up the color just because I don't want it too intense when I first apply it. And then I'm kind of using that brush to blend it out a little bit. Then I'm going in with this smudger brush and blending that out. Now I am taking my Kat Von D primer and applying that and kind of cutting the crease. I'm doing it slowly, but I kind of fast forwarded this. But we're going to want to we're going to want the eyeshadow to be extremely intense. And then I'm going in with the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette, and I'm using the color Flash. Now, I didn't realize how yellow it was going to turn out. That it was going to be more of a golden color. So what I ended up doing was going back to the Amazonian palette and using um, uh, Ethereal and applying that on top of the gold. And this looked so much better. I loved uh, the way the two colors blend it into each other I think it just looks a lot better and then I'm taking this wet and wild glitter and applying that on top I didn't want the glitter to be too intense so I thought this would look perfect because it's not too too crazy it just gives that subtle shimmer and I do want to point out that naturally one of my lids is bigger than the other so of course they're not like perfectly even but once I open my eyes they look pretty even now I'm going in with the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette palette and that color I showed you I accidentally messed up I used the white color to the right of it um the one I showed you was the shimmer shade and that's not the one I'm using I'm using the one to the right now I'm going in with that shimmer shade and applying it as a uh, brow bone highlight now I'm taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and I do want to point out that a couple of hours before I filmed this, I got lip injections for the first time. Yes, I'm following the whole trend that <laughs> I talked about. Um, so my lips are extremely swollen. They, are, they were pretty bruised but I used foundation to cover it up. I didn't want you guys to see the nastiness because it was pretty gross. Um, so they look extremely swollen. The swelling has gone down now. So when you see my next video, you'll see they look way more natural because I naturally have full lips. So they didn't look extremely like overly filled in. But here they look pretty big just because they're so swollen. And that shit hurt. I don't understand how people do this over and over again. I don't know if I'll get them done again. I just wanted to try it out. I got two syringes and it was not fun. My lips were so sore and so swollen and I ended up getting an allergic reaction to the numbing cream so I hated it. <laughs> but anyways, I'm taking the Kat Von D Locket Concealer and applying that under and then this is going to help clean up any fallout that I had. Now I'm blending it out with my Real, Tex Real Techniques 
complexion sponge. Now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and applying that on my under eye area to set that concealer. And then I'm going in with my Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder. I'm almost out so I do need to get more. I really like this powder because it's so affordable. You can find it at Target and you don't have to spend a ton. Now I'm going in with this Sigma Brow Pencil in the color Elevate and I like my eyebrows to be intense so when I'm doing a dramatic look I do go over my microbladed eyebrows. And once again I love the way dark brows look with blonde hair. Next, I am wiping off all that excess translucent powder. Now I'm going in with my NYX Cosmetics Matte Liquid Liner. I'm trying to find some other liners that work. Gel liners just don't work for me because they tend to transfer on my lid. So that's why I'm always using this one because I have not, have it. I have not had any transfer problems with this matte liner. Next, I am going in with the color Mod, and we're going to apply that on our lower lash line and kind of smoke it out. I am going in with the color Drama and making this a bit more intense, but this time I am using a smudger br brush. Again, I'm going in with this this shimmer shade and applying that on the inner corner of my eyes just to give it that slight highlight. Now I'm going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and applying that on my lids. On my lids. What the hell am I talking about? On my lashes. Now I'm going in with my Christina 605 lashes mixed with my Christina 43 lashes. I did want to use some different lashes that I ordered online but they didn't come in time. Now I'm applying some mascara on my lower lash line. Next I'm taking my Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer. I am trying to look for a new Hula Bronzer so, uh, Hula Bronzer. Sorry guys, I keep messing up today, um, but if you have any recommend recommendations for a bronzer, please let me know because I need to switch things up. Next, I'm going in with my Glamorous Blush Palette, and I'm using this slight peach pink shade. It's more on the peach side. Then I'm going in with my It, Cosmetic it Cosmetics Hello Light Highlighter, and applying that on my cheekbones. I had a lot of questions about this lipstick on my last video. This is the Black Moon Cosmetics Metallic Liquid Lipstick in the color Armageddon. I love this one. I'm so obsessed. This is one that I use often and it really does come out metallic once it dries and it stays on all day. I am so obsessed with it. And here is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this makeup video. Please ignore my crazy lips. <laughs> 
and I will see you soon. Love you dolls. Bye. Oh, and I could barely smile. Did you see that? My face was so stiff because of those injections. Thank you.